going? What? How do you stay on messing around with my boyfriend? You better stay away from Brian. And you better stay away from Chad. Listen, I sound like how I want to sound like. That was really your boyfriend. Why was he with me? You didn't ask him that, did you? It's I didn't not think the fact so. about asking him. It's still that you running around Whatever. with my boyfriend. Hold up. Who do you think you are messing around with him? I know you're not. When you see Mr. Carville, you can tell him I said so. But nobody wanna listen to his old self. I ain't know it was gonna be this type of detention. Whatever, oh, ain't nobody trying to get with you. Yeah, alright, I'm the only guy in the school you ain't get with you. And the only one I would never get with. Whatever. Whatever. Yo, what's up? No, what's up? Man, you ain't nothing. Get your cousin. Get your cousin, cause I'll knock him out too. Yeah, so now first I get banned from prom, then I gotta serve detention with the two of you. That's real great. Don't nobody wanna be in here with you either. We all got banned from prom. You ain't the only one. Whatever, right? Whatever. Man, who cares about a stupid prom? Don't nobody wanna go to prom anyway. And if I did, I wouldn't want all the ladies fighting over me, you know? <laughs> you see, I got skills, my man. You wanna understand that with your fake wanna be rap skills. Fake wanna be. First of all, let me check you, gangster guy. <laughs> Man, forget this school and everybody in it. Ya tu sabe. What are y'all looking at? Gente tan stupid in esta escuela me dieron cansado. Man, whatever. Don't look at me. I missed half of it. And I heard the other half was straight up nasty. She wouldn't know all about that. And you wouldn't know all about being a dumb. Yo, that's crazy, Larry. Yo, that's crazy, Larry. And hey, yo, I heard he fell sophomore year three times. Yo, I heard he was the only person to ever punch the principal in the face. Yo, John told me crazy Larry is the reason why Mrs. Williams don't teach here no more. Get out of here. Oh, that's crazy. crazy. John, tell y'all, man, that dude's psycho. He wants to set the lunchroom on fire. Bro. He be eating all the snacks. Bro, that's Dang. Real Dang. That's crazy. That's wild, bro. So where's the teacher? Ain't that supposed to be some kind of teacher in detention? Not no more. A camera? Really? They don't even send no more teachers in here? Man, why don't you cry about it to your baseball coach? <laughs> so you do anyway. Hey, yo, don't make me take my baseball bat to your face. Bad. It'll probably make you look better. What? <laughs> oh, that's big talk coming from a big girl. You see, what you need to do is leave them donuts alone. Because then maybe you can get yourself a real boyfriend instead of being the school's jump you ain't nothing. That's why you always getting beat up on the back of the bus looking like you're ready to cry. What? I don't even ride the bus. You tripping if you don't ride the no, bus. No, you tripping if no, you think you I tripping. do. Yo, hold up. At least he ain't some suburban chick pretending to be down. You need to go back to wherever cold stack you rich behind came from. And you need to mind your business before I punch your teeth down your throat. You not touch me though. You know, all I hear is this. Do something. Do something. Do something. Get this camera, you. I'm trying to see this. Oh, oh, oh. Leave the camera alone. If they see you, they gonna think you trying to break and give all of us detention. Are you serious? You really think somebody watching? I'm not trying to find out. What up, yo? You know what we need to do? What? what? Come up with a plan to get out this joint. Man, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. What? So we can be sitting here tomorrow? It's real smart, genius. Listen, what we need to do is just wait for this hour to pass. Look, man. We sitting up in here looking like losers. Complaining about not going to prom, why don't we do something about it? You mean since we, well, I mean since y'all want to go to prom, because, <laughs> you know, I ain't worried about no prom. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. We should have our own prom. Who's down? Right. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I ain't We could steal the prom money. 
Now that's an idea. Have our own dog. prom. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Then we could take it and do something dope with it. Exactly. Right. right. Yo, hey, yo, right. yo, listen. You know they keep the prom money right up the hallway in the nurse's office, right? Yo, it's what? like $3,000 in it. What? what? Duh. $3, That's why we trying to take it. True, true. They ain't gonna let us go to prom? Fine, then they ain't gonna be no prom. Who's gonna know it was us? Nobody. Yo, why should they get to go to prom if we can't go? Right. You probably don't want to hear your whack rhymes. <laughs> Whatever, dog. You the one that's always crying to your little coach like a girl. Yeah, you probably done blew it this time, Mr. Stupid Star. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm going to talk to the principal to let me go on prom. The only reason why I'm in detention today is because the coach ain't here today. You just mad you ain't got nobody supporting you. That's what? why you stay scribbling in your little stupid notebook. What the oh, fuck? Yo, forget that fight and stuff. We gotta figure out how we gonna get that prom money. True. They got three G's in there. If we split that up between the four of us, that's... That's... $750 each. All right, so how we gonna get... Man, we just gonna go in there and take it. Serious? Are you stupid? We can't just walk up in there and just take that money. We gotta have a plan. Listen, look, the nurse's office is in the dead end hallway. They're gonna see us coming. No, they won't. Yeah, they will. What are you talking about? Listen, give me that book. Look, come here. This is how it's done. Okay, there's the nurse's office. Next to the nurse's office is the fire escape. The fire escape goes up and down to all four floors. But once the door closes, it's locked. So, all you gotta do is keep the fire escape door open. Mm. Exactly. Mm. How many people in the office? This time of day, only one. Shoot, I know I'm always in there. All right, I got it. Oh, can you go get a first aid kit from the gym? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, good. Tell the gym teacher you had to pick up an extra one for the baseball team. After you get it, open the fire escape door and come back here. Amir, wrap up your arm with the gauze. Why I gotta do that? So it looks like you cut your arm. Amani, you go into the nurse's office, all hysterical. Tell them Mir cut his arm really bad and they gotta go with you to help them. I'll be hiding in the fire escape right here. As soon as I see you and the nurse leave, I'll go in and take the money. When the nurse gets here, I just say that old grabbed the first aid kit from the gym. And I'll say I was in the bathroom, then see nothing happen. As soon as she leaves, we split the money. Cheers! Home run, baby! Nah. Yeah. Amir, you fought, act like you hurt yourself really badly. That way, if anybody was watching the camera, they could say they saw the head. Cool. All right, so you down to do this? Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. Let's get it. Let's do it. You really think that plan is going to work? You really think that silly plan of yours is going to work? Um, yeah. It's a cool plan. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry we didn't cut you in. We, you know, uh... We, uh, we actually kind of forgot you were back there. Yeah, I mean, we'll cut you in if you want. $3,000 divided by five is $600 each. Damn, girl, you fast on your numbers. It's just math, stupid. So what's up with it, Larry? You down? I think you may be on to something. You got a plan. But it ain't the right one. I got a better idea. Why should we listen to you? You're like, what, 21 still sitting up in detention? <laughs> What are the things you could spend your time doing and you waste your time like this? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the four of you. Busy running around over here trying to steal some small time money like three G's. It's gonna take you what? Ten minutes to spend it? And then what? You'll be back here looking to do some more small time nonsense. Y'all ain't seeing the big picture. All that talent you got, you're trying to get yourself thrown back into detention. Talents? 
Marisol, you got four people who don't even like each other to work together. How many people you know who can do that? Amani, you drew a blueprint of the whole school in like two minutes. Imagine what you could do with that skill. And, and, oh, you're like a year and a half away from a baseball scholarship. You're going to be the first person in your family with a college degree. And you're going to try to blow that over three Gs? And Amir, you about to hurt yourself on purpose for like three Gs? If you put that kind of dedication into your rhymes, man, nobody would call you weak. The four of you need to stop letting the drama of this little place rule your world. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck here forever like me. What? What, what, is, he, what is he talking about? Yo, wait, wait. Yo, Crazy Larry's got a point, man. For real, man. I, I can't believe I done messed up again. I'm sitting here in detention again. Got all these people supporting me. <laughs> what you talking about? It's an access card? This dog. Yo, shut up, O. No, no, P, where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? My father left me and my brother when we was little. I done spent my whole life without my dad. But if it wasn't for my uncle, it's my uncle, he takes care of us. He took me out last week to some program on some college campus where I got introduced to these mentors from the AT&T Aspiring Mentor Academy. They were pretty cool. Oh yeah? They hooked you up with a phone? Shut up, O. No, I ain't get a cell phone or nothing like that, you know? But I guess I didn't tell anybody because I didn't want y'all to think that I wasn't hard or, you know, Cool like that. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. I felt the same way. But I wish you would have said something. If we all wouldn't be here right now. True, true. You're probably right. But the people there are really cool. Man, they're helping me come up with a plan to finish high school and get this. Get into college too. Yeah. I need something like that. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, now that's a plan. Yeah, it is. Oh, they got athlete mentors too, bro. Yeah, think about it. How many times do we hear about these pro ballers making dumb decisions and having to live the rest of their lives with it? Yo, you know what, dude? You right. I guess we had the right idea, but the wrong plan. Cause a good plan is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, it is. Yo! Yo! Let's do it. Let's do it. within you. Honor your ancestors and believe that success is a mindset. A choice. Choose success. Choose life. Choose abundance. Commit to be an agent of change. What one focuses on will grow. Be a part of the solution. Make a difference. Visualize success and shine. It's your life. It's your choice. It's your success. It's time to aspire. Hello there, Mr. Johnson. Mrs. Rosario. Back from detention already? I'm already.
So how did that crazy Larry situation go? You know what? It went pretty well. I'll tell you what though, from now on, I'm keeping the prom money in the principal's office. This is my pain, my struggle, my game, my hustle, my... This is my future.